Hey y'all, how you doing? Uh, welcome to my experiment with rock wool and cotton balls. Um, as, as you gardeners may know, you can definitely start seeds in rock wool, but um, for a 10 by 20 flat full of, uh, I don't know, medium sized rock wool cubes, uh, they look like one inchers is what I'm looking at. Um, one inch rock wool cubes is about $20 and that gives you what, like 98 cubes or so, just about 100 cubes. So what I did was I said I didn't need them quite that big so I cut them all in half and I turned um, about 100 of them into 200 of them. So I basically made two um, 10 by 20 inch trays out of them. And then I had a couple other uh, um, 10 by 20 uh, trays, and I filled them with cotton balls. Uh, there There's 72 of them because it was um, the trays were like spaced out different. So I uh, got 72 cotton balls in each tray. So have a look. Ah. Uh. So, I mean, basically what I'm trying to do here is uh, see how stuff uh, germinates and roots um, in, in both. And uh, what I did was um, followed the instructions on the Rockwell cubes, which say that you have to soak them very briefly in um, water that has been pH balanced down to like 5.5, uh, which is actually super easy to do. I just took this um, container... Oh, here, put some water in it, it ain't that big of a bowl. And then honestly, just like a couple splashes of, uh, I mean splashes like boop, of um, just white vinegar. And then I, I tested it and um, that vinegar really lowers the pH, uh, brings it from like an average tap water pH of like an, an eight or so, um, right down. It brought it right down to that 5.5. So uh, that's what I did, and um, now that my seeds are, are in, I mean everything's already kind of already moist because I moistened everything a couple nights ago. Um, so now that all the seeds are in, what I'll be doing is just coming along and, and spraying them um, with uh, non-chlorinated water, which you get just by aging your water overnight pretty much for 24 hours actually. Um, so what I'm growing here is uh, my, my biggest part of my experiment is going to be um, this portion here, 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 and here. Basically the, the top half. And what that's seeded with, you got two rows each going straight across of giant winter spinach, red rhubarb shard, and bright light shard. So that should give me a really good comparison. Uh, that's kind of like my control sample, I guess. <laughs> um, then I got I got a row of coleus going across. I thought that would be fun. And then I got a bunch of my other flower seeds going. Um, I just got them, you know, put in across. I got like uh, rows that go halfway across of different things. So I got, um, yeah, I got that coleus in there. I got Moonflower, which is an awesome vine. I got this really cool, um, it's called Chocolate White Edge Morning Glory. It's a morning glory that has a huge flower on it, about the size of a, a moonflower. And it's also got almost like variegated leaves. Um, Detura, Night Scented Tobacco. Forest fire slosia, sensitive plant. Uh, this is giant bicolored marigold. This is Macrania zinnia. Uh, blue columbine. Harlequin mix columbine. Four o'clock in Grandpa Odd's Morning Glory. So 
I don't know, it's going to be kind of interesting to see how that, how that all does and see how the roots uh, react. You see, I, I, I have a lot of seeds. Uh, basically trying to be a farmer. <laughs> I'd love to be a farmer. I'm a gardener. Love it. Uh, anyways, don't know much more to say. I'll uh, get, this is part one. I'll hit you up with an update when I have some results. Thank you. God bless.